Yo, what's up? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. How's your uh, weekend been? It's been good. How, how about yours? It's been good, Rizal. Oh my <laughs> God, this formality is... Huh? Anyways, uh, welcome to the second edition of our weekly catch-up series. I don't know, we have to come up with a good name for this uh, so that, you know, it can be branded and marketing lingo or something like that. But uh, catch up on what's happening with Remix VR and uh, discuss stuff that, uh, you know, we are planning for the next week and uh, and make sure that Risen is finishing those things. That's the important part. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's look at what we uh, planned for this, sorry, last week. Um, okay. So we kind of have planned for uh, creating the links between uh, the spaces. So we talked about spaces in the last session. And we also planned on uh, creating the test data using the API and also updating the 362 thing uh, to use this API data, which is part of our uh, template. Mm. So yeah, all, yeah, I'm happy to say all of these are completed. So I'll go through each of these items and uh, we'll see how it, how to work. Okay, can you repeat then what 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 the what are the things that are completed? Yeah, so first one was a new link field is added. So we have this uh, different types of field, right? Yeah, like position field, uh, that kind of fields. So we also added a new type of field called link, where you can link okay. from one space to another. So the one user space. will have the option uh, to uh, it, it will show up uh, like a list for the user with all the spaces in the project. So different links can be created from one uh, point to another, and you can attach them to different uh, objects or images. In our case, in the hotspot thing, sorry, the 362 thing, we are using an image and uh, linking, sorry, connecting our link field to this image to create the hotspot. So when you mm -hmm. click on that image, it will take you to the next space. Okay. So uh, another one was like we kind of fixed a bug uh, which prevented the file uploads to, from happening correctly on the staging server. So that also was fixed. Uh, then uh, we updated the whole thing. Initially, it was uh, just using the files from the local uh, folder. Now we use the data from the API. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, we can go through the code if you are. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Do it. Let's do it. Let me share the screen. All right, can you see my screen? I can see your screen, yeah. All right, uh, so here uh, we are looking at the template code. So this is a template for the 362 thing. So uh, the main main page you can see, previously we used to have uh, this code enabled, which basically meant, uh, yeah, basically meant our panels from our local folder would be shown to the user. Yeah. Uh, so what we have done now is we have updated uh, so that it will take the data from the API. So mm. here uh, we have uh, we have our Remix VR .js. This will be later uh, turned into a. Uh, so a this package. this API thing is is basically to so that you know people can upload their own content rather yeah, than. Yeah, API is to... for all data, all data okay. for uh, about the project. Okay. Uh, so we take the data, combine it with our themes code and we show it to the user. Yeah. So this uh, page, this, uh, sorry, the script will be converted to a package and published on NPM. So the theme authors can just, just use this package. It's like helper, helper functions to make it easier. So okay. we have one function called project, uh, fetch project data, which essentially will take all the spaces uh, from the project and uh, give the data to the, to the template. So inside here, once the, once the theme is loaded, it will fetch all the uh, spaces of that particular uh, project, and then uh, it will it will take all the photospheres from it. So we here we here we have we have another function right. So you can see here. Uh, let me show you how the JSON would look like. A better understanding. So this is what also is it, is it is it possible for you to like uh, maybe. Uh, zoom in onto the into the sure. uh, the thing. Yeah. Okay. 
Ajahn? A little bit more. Yeah. All right. So I don't think I can zoom this one. But basically, this is this is what the AI the fields are created using the API. So I have a create field API uh, using which I created uh, the fields. Basically, uh, you can. So th this is basically uploading the file. The this okay. for creating Photosphere. So based on uh, which type you so here which type you enter the, the attributes will vary. So okay. for position, it would be here. It would be the XYZW uh, attribute. Okay. So like that, I created, and you can uh, specify the parent. So first I have the photosphere. Uh, yeah, first I have the photosphere. Then I have the hotspot as a child of this photosphere. And I have okay. a link field as a child of this hotspot. Okay. So this Got sort it. of like, the point of this is like you can have the flexibility to connect anything you want. For example, let's say you want to have a model and you want to link, when you're clicking on it, you want to link it to something else. And that's okay. what the possible this kind of structure. Okay. So basically before we had like these discrete type of like data types that we could use like 3D. 3D model and photos, three, 360 photos and 360 videos. And this linking is basically allowing you to link between them, right? Yeah, no, not not uh, exactly. So we have spaces, right? So let's, yeah. let's see in this, this project. In this project, there are two spaces. So mm -hmm. this, this one is a space and this one is another space. And okay. each space can have multiple fields. So all okay. the fields I'm are sure. associated, with, associated to the space. So inside this uh, space, uh, here in this uh, particular project, we have a photosphere and we have the child face. So okay. one photosphere, one hot, hot spot image, and one link, link field, which okay. links from the first space to the second space. So teams can have different spaces? Uh, no, teams are just uh, teams. the code. Yeah, yes, just teams. So okay. what we create using the data plus the theme is a project. Is a project. Yeah. Okay. So each project can have multiple spaces. Got it. Got it. And each space can have different kinds of fields. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so if, if, if I had to, if I had to like uh, do it really big, big picture, I would say that for a teacher or for a developer, uh, the important part is picking a theme, and then taking that theme uh, and adding data to that theme, which can be either like the photo or the, you know, yeah. the 3D image or whatever it is to create a space, create a project, right? Create a project, yeah. And within the project, there are different, there are different spaces. Yeah, that okay. number of spaces and all, all those uh, variables will depend on the theme. So the theme okay. developer will have the flexibility for that thing. So you can have multiple themes in a project? And not right now. Right okay. now, in in one theme, you can have multiple uh, spaces. Later on, one uh, theme you can have multiple spaces. Yeah. Sorry, one project. And one project right now will depend on just one theme. Okay, I think it's a little confusing for me. All right, let but, me rephrase it. So there are different themes, right? Right. And you can create projects based on one of those things. Okay. And each of those themes uh, can have multiple spaces. So b basically, let's say uh, you're building a, a website. Mm. Let me try to try to connect. No, let, let's take so, let's, let's let's put it into context of a lesson itself. Right. So all right. That it's for a lesson, for a lesson, cool. let's say uh, let's say the theme support. It all it all depends on theme support of uh, how what kind of spaces it can contain. So okay, for just give a, an example. Let's start, let's yeah, start sure. with an example. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so for example, uh, for a theme that supports a 360 photo and also mm. a 360 a 3D model and some text next to it, you can uh, let's say the themes. Uh, how the theme developer made it is like you can have one uh, one space where you just have one uh, photosphere where you're just standing in there, and the next one uh, it's like you have on one model and some text next to it. And you, when you click on next, it just goes some button or some button uh, label next. You go to the next space, which is like the model and the text. Okay. So in that case, in that case, 
it's just the same thing, but you have two different spaces. Mm. So that is one one way of doing it. Or let's say there's another theme where it's just a museum and with lots of models, 3D models in it. So uh, let's say the theme developer made it like all the models are in the same uh, space. In that case, you doesn't necessarily need a second space. Okay. But but the theme developer again can uh, change it to have multiple rooms. So let's say a museum has multiple rooms, and you, and you click on the door, it goes to the next room. Mm. In that case, there's a possibility of multiple spaces. So each space can have, let's say, the developer created it like you can have five uh, five models in it. Mm. So in each space, basically the space is like page uh, in the website context. But in, since it's a 3D yeah. environment, we rename it as space. So for each space, uh, you can have upload all those uh, five models, and then you can create okay. a new new. So uh, the concept of space is basically embedded within the theme itself. Yeah, and okay. it's all up to the theme developer uh, to what kind of flexibility it needs. Okay. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yeah. Later on, uh, we will experiment with uh, moving from one. Uh, what do you say? One type, one one project to the another. Mm. So basically, uh, when we have different uh, themes, if we want to link between different themes, uh, what you would be doing is it would be just a hyperlink to a different project. That's about it. Okay. So in again, that project can have different type of spaces. So the advantage with this system is like uh, you don't need to reload the whole page for uh, changing the space. It's just the themes code is already there. You just mm. you are just updating the data. Okay. So the whole reverse scenario doesn't need to come. You just need to load the data. You can just pause it. So you are not. It's not a full website refresh in the traditional, in the okay. traditional sense. Okay. And the linking is between two spaces, or linking is between two projects. Two spaces. Two spaces. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in the 360 team, in the 360 team, we are linking between one space with uh, one photosphere and I mean, any number of uh, hotspot to another space with another photosphere and different hotspot. Okay, I understand. So, it's a, so the team's code in that sense is same for both the spaces. Mm -hmm. The team's code is same, but the data is different. Understood. Understood. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so the essence is that we'll create a lesson theme. Yeah, that will be one one of the theme. One of the theme. And that yeah, lesson theme basically the team, can. Yeah, one of the theme with with the next next kind of uh, progression. Okay. Where, where the, yeah. Where the educator and then, can. And once we do the that, time. once we do that, then we we create a, a way to connect projects if required and if we can get to that place. Yeah. Okay. That thing. Uh, so, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that a little later based on what happens. Okay. And cool. like. Because the experience uh, would not be as great as just going through uh, in in a in a VR environment. It would be just too different. But there are some experiments uh, in Ethereum also uh, between linking between different pages. So, but as well as I, I know, all the code needs to be present in that uh, project. Sorry, in that theme itself to okay. make it seamless. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. So in in this project, if you can see here. Uh, you can see uh, in this space we have our photosphere here. Okay. And uh, inside the photosphere we have our uh, auto hotspot, and the hotspot has a child of uh, the link, which is linked to the next space. It is a it has an ID of two here. All right. So, okay. If you look, out, look at our code, uh, we are using uh, the get values, uh, which is again coming from uh, this here. Uh, so we are just going through each of these JSON fields to find out which uh, type it has. Type it is. So based on the type, we are getting the value. So okay. if you go through all the uh, fields and just take the type photosphere, we'll know the, the parent uh, field. 
for that space. Okay. So for this space, we are taking, okay, take the photosphere. So mm -hmm. we took the photosphere and now uh, we are setting the uh, sky to have that specific image. So mm -hmm. right now this is hardcore, but it will be changed uh, to make it more flexible. Okay. Uh, yeah, then the next one is a hotspot. So hotspot also we are uh, going through each of those uh, JSON items we just saw, and we are just mm -hmm. taking uh, um, those fields with type position. So we are taking a uh, thing with position, and then we are setting few attributes on it. Uh, this is like, this is one uh, airframe component that we have written so that all, all the photos, all the hotspot will always face the camera. So since it's an image, uh, it, it's possible possible that it might be perpendicular to you, so you won't be able to see it. So that to make it, make sure the image is always visible, uh, we have this small airframe uh, component. Okay. And this position data we are taking from the API, well, for, uh, from the JSON response, we're just taking the XYZ values. And here uh, we can see uh, we are also setting the set image airframe component to mm. have uh, a link to attribute that again the value is coming from the API. So okay. when when that hotspot is clicked, let's see, let's go down to uh, this this component set image component. So mm. when it's clicked on, uh, it will fetch the space. So here in our help helper uh, library, we have a find space function. So it will first check the uh, spaces that What's we have the already. space ID, yeah. Yeah, okay. so otherwise it will download from the API. Sorry. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so once it ha once it gets that space, it, it will again perform the same, uh, same items, which is like get the photosphere, set that um, photosphere to the attribute and also create the new hotspot. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Okay. All right, so here I have the uh, theme loaded. Sorry, the project loaded. Um, so here, let's see. I'm going from one hotspot to the other. And you can see the, uh, the, the previous hotspot has been removed and the new hotspot have been added, added in as well as the photosphere is also updated. Uh, let's try one more thing. Let's try to uh, change the value. Change the value of the photosphere, sorry, the position uh, of the hotspot and see if it's updates or not. So right now uh, we can see uh, from our JSON thing, uh, uh, the hotspot in the first space is, has an ID of four. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so let's change the X to three for the field with ID four. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so we updated the field. Um, so if I go back and refresh, you can see that our uh, image, the hotspot has updated the position of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, this is how. Uh, so basically, you can add more spaces, which would mean that it would be a longer version too, uh, mm -hmm. and all the data would be coming from the API. And okay. Yeah, that's our whole idea. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Let me get back to. All right, so any questions you have? No, I think, it's, I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think one of the things that we should probably discuss, maybe the next, next call, I think, you know, we're kind of running out of time on this, yeah. is, you know, uh, basically like the differences between lessons and spaces and all that stuff. So they're just more clearer to anyone who, who wants to build on Remix VR. Uh, also, you know, uh, this is... Is there is there something like what do you think uh, 
you know we have for next week like what have you planned for next week yeah for next week uh, what we're thinking is like uh start get started on the front end part of it which is like the the fields uh the field and data collection part so first we need to finalize the theme configuration so it would also include the spaces part so uh the teams config is how we would be generating the fields on the front end so uh, we finalize the how the structure would be and also uh, we'll also include uh, showing a list of themes when you first log in you can see all the themes that you can select so we have a couple of sorry we'll at least add this 360 uh, vr theme so that you can at least see uh, a list of themes when you log in uh, and uh, yeah, and figuring out the structure of the ordering tool, how how the config is converted to uh, our uh, sorry fields in the front end. So how uh, what should go over that kind of questions we have. So this kind of uh, question should be answered uh, this week. And uh, uh, yeah, like next two weeks is mainly focused on uh, the front end and like uh, which is our final part also to make the whole temp template of the remix we are uh, working. Okay. Yeah, cool. Sounds good, man. Thanks for the update. And uh, I shall see you, well, I shall see you in five minutes. But on the video, we'll see in uh, in a week, next Monday. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Sounds good, man. Bye. Bye.